diabetes uh, uh, statistics, it's, uh, the prevalence rate is uh, 14% of the adult resident population aged uh, 20 to 79. It's a chronic disease, so it gets um, more prevalent as you get older. So the over 65 years old, one in three have diabetes. Also among the different races, the Indians and Malays have it more than the Chinese. Thankfully, over the years, there have been a lot of advances in diabetes. There have been advances in the knowledge of diabetes, in the management of the diabetes, and also new medications that help people living with diabetes. We usually differentiate the treatment between type 2 and type 1 diabetes. Type 2 diabetes, uh, besides uh, diet and lifestyle changes, uh, there's a whole host of oral medication uh, that can uh, help a person control his blood sugars and there have been new uh, molecules, new drugs over the years uh, that can do that. For type 1 diabetes, it is mainly insulin, insulin shots to control the condition. And again, there have been advances in the delivery of the insulin, the methods of how, of how insulin is delivered and the action of the insulin to help, again, people living with type 1 diabetes. Unfortunately, a person with type 2 or type 1 diabetes has to live with diabetes every single day uh, of his life. Uh, he has to watch his food, he has to uh, try to be as active in his lifestyle and he has to take his medication. Uh, the medication, uh, unfortunately, just work for the day in which it's taken and so there is no rest days for a person with diabetes. He needs to be constant and he needs to be uh, familiar and uh, careful with his medication. All medication uh, have their own side effects. Uh, the trick is to, for the person with diabetes to consult his doctor, to learn from his doctor or what medication he needs to and the benefits and the side effects of this medication and whether they are suited for him. So all medication uh, have side effects. However, if a person with diabetes needs medication, the side effects shouldn't really happen him from uh, taking his medication he should discuss with his doctor the benefits and side effects of taking the medication and whether the medication is suited for him. Prevention is mainly for type 2 diabetes. For type 2 diabetes, the person first needs to know whether he is at risk for diabetes. The risk factors come with uh, overweight and a family history and getting on in age. If a person is at risk uh, for diabetes, then he can actually prevent his condition by leading a healthy lifestyle. If he's overweight, he should lose at least 5% uh, uh, of his body weight or as much as possible towards his ideal body weight and this can help to uh, prevent uh, the onset of diabetes. So even though a person may be living healthily, if he's still overweight, he is still standing a risk for getting diabetes and he should try to reduce his weight towards an ideal body weight. There's also a genetic play to that and uh, as a result of that, people who live an otherwise healthy lifestyle may still get diabetes because of a strong uh, genetic potential for diabetes and this is brought on by a family history. Generally, the recommendations are that persons above 40 years um, old should screen for diabetes. Uh, in terms of an ideal body weight, it is simply calculated uh, from the body mass index, which is the weight in kilograms divided by the height in meters uh, squared. And an ideal body weight for Asians is less than 23 kilograms per meter squared. As an endocrinologist, uh, treating persons with diabetes is part of my day-to-day -day work. Uh, but in treating uh, people with diabetes, I realize that they need a lot of support more than a doctor can offer. Uh, Diabetes Singapore provides this support to people living with diabetes as well as families. It has educational uh, classes. It teaches people with diabetes to cope and handle their condition. There are also peer support groups from uh, other people living with diabetes to encourage persons who are new with diabetes to support their condition. Uh, diabetes is not just seeing a doctor, 
and uh, taking medication. Uh, lifestyle change is important and it is good to have uh, peer support as well as family support.